Greg, Group B is coming out right now. Richard Dickey, James Lopez, Dale Barnes, Patrick David from Synergy Turbo in the Fiat Drivers Cup Challenge car. And a special guest driver in the White Line Performance Camaro. We're showing you Richard Dickey right now, currently leading enthusiast front wheel drive. Richard Dickey coming around that turn eight complex. I had a chance to drive this course in that Fiat Drivers Cup car. In the Fiat, you're basically flat all the way around. I don't know about the A bar, that's much, much faster. Richard Dickey into the 46s there. Looks like we have a cone down, an apex cone down there. Thank you, XTC Drifters, for that one. James Lopez and Dale Barnes coming around there. We're showing you James Lopez in the Scion TC enthusiast front wheel drive, trying to catch up with Richard Dickey in the Fiat of Fort Worth Fiat. Patrick David going very, very slowly there in the Fiat 500, giving the point five. Dale Barnes in the Snail Performance Mustang. It's a daily driver, very mildly prepared car. Dale running an enthusiast rear wheel drive. Dale Barnes leading his class by 15 one hundredths of a second. He's over fourth place, Jamie Beck in that white line challenge. Dale Barnes in third place. Patrick David from Synergy Turbo running around in the Fiat 500 Drivers Cup Challenge car. Malonis coming back out on track. As we're showing you, Patrick David, this Fiat 500. This is all of uh, 96 foot pounds of torque and maybe 101 horsepower. Inline four cylinder, 1.4 liters of single overhead cam, fast and furious Fiat Fury. Whoa, it's a Fiat battle right there between Richard Dickey and Patrick David. Patrick David getting the blue flag. Wah, wah, wah. Give him a point by Patrick. Give him something. Pull over, merge, park, take a bathroom break. Wow, the <laughs> traffic's getting bunched up here. We have Richard Dickey, James Lopez, Patrick David, and Travis, I'm sorry, Dale Barnes in the Snail Performance Mustang. Showing you Marcos Malonis, currently in a very, very tight battle in Enthusiast All-Wheel Drive. Before the session started, Marcos was in second to Jeff Tan with a 41.375 to Jeff Tan's 41.267. They were literally separated by, by one and a half tenths. Now Marcos running a 41.531, unable to improve, and Jeff Tan running a 41.368. He, he also unable to improve, but it's ironic because they're both unable to improve by the same margin, so they are still separated in this session by the same exact time. We are. That doesn't sound right, Marcos's car. Sounds like there's some, some sort of an engine issue that could have been a misshift, that could have been on cool down laps. Sometimes the drivers get a little too relaxed. Not sure what it was, but Marcos definitely not finding the right gear in that one or having an over rev issue with this vehicle. Looks like Dale Barnes in the Snail Performance Mustang has pulled off the track. His day is done. Marcos.
Marcos Malonis in the Snail Performance WRX. Trying to catch Jeff Tan. Very, very tight battle in that class. Enthusiast all-wheel drive. This looks like Richard Dickey and James Lopez. This is actually a class battle right here. James Lopez actually pulling off. Maybe he didn't want, he got tired of following that Fiat 500 A-bar. The A-bar coming around. Marcos Malone is coming into frame. He's getting on it again. Marcos is a man possessed. He wants those 15 100s. James Lopez coming back out on course. Showing you James Lopez in his Scion TC, second place in Enthusiast Front Wheel Drive, behind Richard Dickey in the Fiat of Fort Worth A Bar. Marcos Malonis in the Snell Performance Call. Let's see what he's got. Marcos Malonis, 41, 531. I think he's just, he's all out of tire, he's all out of brake, he's all out of engine, he's all out of talent right now. That's about all we're gonna see from him. I don't know, he could he could pull something out, but he's been on track for so long. You know the engine's getting a little heat soaked. You know the tires are wearing, the brakes are heating up. It's hard to maintain your concentration to do that perfect lap. That's what Time Attack is all about. It is much, much harder to drive to say to string together one perfect lap and do an endurance race for 24 hours. Thanks, man. Showing you Patrick David, one of our sponsors from Synergy Turbo. Patrick needs a Synergy Turbo under the hood of that uh, Fiat of to help him, uh, that Fiat 500 actually, to help him go faster. I believe Eric from Timing and Scoring is pointing out that, uh, that Patrick's gonna get lapped by Richard Dickey there. One Fiat lapping another, it's like Inception. I hope producer Daryl isn't playing size Gangnam style right now for his kids. Hey, sexy lady. Richard Dickey in the Fiat of Fort Worth, Abarth, currently leading enthusiast front wheel drive. That car is nothing if not consistent. 46.325, his fastest time of the weekend. 46.317, so, so close. Jeff Westfall currently leading both the entire event, the unlimited all-wheel drive class, and the Fiat of Fort Worth Fiat Drivers Cup Challenge. So Jeff Westfall going for a hat trick. I accused him of cheating, and then he said he accused me of eating too many Subway sandwiches, which what might have slowed me slowed my time down. I think my timing, my, my time got lost though by Eric from timing and scoring. I believe that one got misplaced. That time will not count. My time will not count. Eric is saying he has them. He has them. He's publishing them on Facebook as we speak. So we're waving the checkered flag on this session. This concludes round five of the global time attack at Texas Motor Speedway. Thank you very much everyone for tuning in.